to the egg. Not big enough. That's better. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Joy of Zoning. My name is John Hodgman. This is the Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. centered now. Yes, M. Weintraub. Oh, sorry, thank you, M. Weintraub. Just received vacation. That's very nice. I was trying to res respond to Rescued Page. This is SimCity 2013, and this is The Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. The Joy of Zoning is my Monday morning stream in which I pay homage to Bob Ross of Public Television's wonderful program the joy of painting, in which he very quietly and calmly and soothingly painted an oil landscape differences instead of painting happy little trees. I'm building a happy little city, in fact. The name of this happy little city is Bob Roston. You can see it down there at the bottom. This is a city that we began building last Monday, and way in the distance back there, city we built the two weeks before, which is called Max Fun Drive, Sylvania. This is a new city in a new connected region. We laid out a, a map of uh, a grid of streets. Started zoning, some residential, some commercial, some industrial. Let me re reorient myself within this city because it's been a while since I've looked at it. In fact, it's been a whole week. If you're watching on Twitch or the Facebook page on Judge John Hodgman, you can go ahead and comment and I'll see your comments. Technically you're supposed to be able to do so on YouTube as well, but I can I don't remember how to do that. Lama, you want to give me an update on my sound? Can uh, Is everything in balance? Can everyone hear me? down a little bit, I think. The music today is a rights-free music selection called Daydreaming. Sounds great, says Soren Rags. Let's go ahead then and play. It's 2.34 a.m. here in Bob Roston. I'm just going to circle around and just show you that we're here by the ocean waves. Our city only really interacts with about tiny bit of this ocean. That's our shorefront right there. We'll build streets out to there eventually, but as I pointed out, Sims do not go to the beach. Let's check our zones. As usual, Johnny Hired Hat is over here yelling at me about uh, various zoning issues. Not enough shoppers is the issue today. Commercial businesses are not getting enough shoppers. Zone more residential. Oh, don't you worry about it. And we're making a bit of money. Obviously, I got a head start with a cash gift from Max Fund Drive, Sylvania. And I guess that's about as far back as we can go. You can see our power for our city is solar today, running on battery power right now because it is, of course, nighttime. With our little gift from Max Fund Drive, Sylvania, we were able to upgrade directly to a sewage treatment plant instead of a sewage outflow pipe, garbage dump, and a water pumping station. We have a school, and a high school, we have a clinic, police station, a fire station, and I forgot that we had invested right at the end in a superhero. Maxis Man. We can send him on patrol to save the injured. We need to do that until he gets 5,000 renown points. Then we can start adding some more doodads and gifts to Maxis Man's arsenal. A Maxis Mobile, a Maxis Copter, etc.
Oh, that's right. We've got Kate Littleton in the chat, of course, pointing out that this is an analogy for Max Fun. The Drive City brought lots of money that can be distributed to the Creator City, and that's what's happening now. So let's check out our zones. We have a one, two, three, four to two. One, two, three. More or less four to two. Two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Uh, balance of residential to commercial and a bunch of industrial over here. Let's go ahead and put some industrial back in here. And our friend was complaining about the fact that we had not enough shoppers. So let me check my roads here. I don't remember what roads I was working with here. These are high density streets. Fantastic. Go ahead and build these out. And once we get over here, it's kind of hard to build a street along here. We'll deal with that in a moment. Build out these blocks. This has to stay nice and empty because we're going to build a big solar field right there. see about our four to two. He wanted more residential, so let's go ahead and zone residential here. Do you know what? I'm going to unzone that residential. I'm going to zone residential here. I'm just going to alternate along. So I want to save some room for parks and improvements. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and throw some parks in here, up in here in the middle. What do you think? I think by the tracks, we're going to have our Low wealth, medium, high wealth, residential. So I'm going to throw some basic amenities up in here. Basic low wealth parks. Four square. Barbecue pits, small field. What's this? Water park? Yeah, that's better. Let's get a water park right over here. By the water pumping station, shall we? Water park there. What else do we have over here? Large field with parking. Ooh. See how happy they are now? medium field with parking. It's going to block off our roads, but if we put it over there, yeah, that'll work nicely. Barbecue pavilion. These are things that I very rarely put in. A little playground over here. Blocking the road doesn't look like it, but I can have some swings over here. And let's do a barbecue pit here. No, not sure. What else did I not put down here? A small field? That seems a little boring, right? Oh, I accidentally just plopped a small field over here. Sorry, I don't want that small field there. I don't want that barbecue pit there. Bulldoze. Sun's shining on our new parks here. Small field. And, you know, let me go ahead and see if we can 
and sneak in and uh, block these roads. Basketball court makes everyone happy. Go to another another AR. AR center here, which will modernize. That's another one that's not too bad. I think that looks well. We want to put something here at the end, right? Barbecue pit. Barbecue pit there. Barbecue pavilion next to it. That's better. That barbecue pavilion is no good. I'll put an AR center over there. The AR center is this, oh, excuse me, the excitatorium. It's basically a futuristic playground. Don't worry, don't worry, don't be mad, everybody. Here it comes. And it futurizes parts of your city. So if we build out here, get my high density streets going again. Follow the grid. Grid's been working pretty good for me these days. Field, I have to remember that. How far out can we go on this grid? is a, a big old field and we can add we can add zoning here we can zone residential in here now news alert just got an update got a message from David Reese I don't know what he has to say email. That's what happened. So we have this line of low wealth parks here in this low wealth district. So let's go ahead and create a line of medium wealth parks over here in this medium wealth district. And then we'll build this out to be our high wealth district. I'm going to follow the same pattern. I'm going to make those parks along, along this, this way here. Medium wealth parks. I'm going to have to wipe out some businesses and some houses, but you know, that's the way it goes. Excitatorium. This is, no, this is, excuse me, is the AR Athletic Center. I wonder what AR stands for. This where I'm putting it? No, block away. Like so. Can okay, I add in a little, a little sports sports C thing here? Let me go in a little closer. with those businesses right now. But I will go ahead and add more sports. You know how much I love sports. Tennis court. Tennis court. 
tennis court. Basketball will not fit in there. Little skate park, will that fit in there? Nothing will fit in the middle. A little nature, a little pond, a little pool. Not terrible. And let's go back to our nature. What else do we have for sports? Skate park. Let's just keep it on the sports. Sports side. That's a medium skate park. Look at a large skate park. Will that fit in? What do you think? Let's do it a large skate park. Look how much that improves. Right across from the school. That makes sense, right? Right across from the high school. Everyone's happy. You can see these buildings are starting to come in. Good for you. This person's not happy. Don't worry. Everything will get happier soon. Let's check our zoning. Johnny Hardhat isn't yelling at us anymore. So that's good. That means we have enough. Our scheme, our residential scheme down here. Right? By adding parks along this median. Is that a median? I don't know what that is. But like, I feel like we should focus on nature down here to absorb some of the air pollution of the of the, some of this industrial. People are calling me. It's too early to call. It's 919. This is the Joy of Zoning. Hey, everybody. If you're just joining us, my name is John Hodgman. This is the Joy of Zoning with John Hodgman. It's just a little hour when you get to zone out with me while I zone residential, commercial, and industrial in this game that we call SimCity 2013. This is a game that's designed to make rule followers like me very anxious. And the therapy of it is to resist anxiety, to just zone out and remember Sims are stupid, and it's only a game. All the money that I'm making right now is off of taxes. And we're maxed out at 11%. That's about as far as you want to go. So let's add some happy little trees in the form of some nature. And again, these blocks are going to be our medium wealth. along here. So cycle through my medium wealth, tree-lined walkway, go very nicely there. There's a wavy tree-lined walkway. Pop that in here. Sorry, businesses. There's another tree lined walkway. There. And before I build around City Hall, let me see what modules. I already have a Department of Education. I don't have finance. So I really only have one, two, two modules that I can add. And those can go on the back and on the side if I need them. The rest are already covered because you see placed in region, placed in region, and Maximum Drive Sylvania, we already have those, so. In fact, I can add a Department of Safety module here. I just pop that in the back. And I'll weigh the benefits and the costs, as it were, of adding a Department of Finance, the costs and benefits. You see what I'm talking about? Of course you do, you're very smart.
Those of you who are up too early because you're on the West Coast, welcome. This is, a, I hope, an easy way for you to get into your day and get into a little bit of a flow state. Department of Safety approvals shared. Enjoy of zoning. Ooh, we had 8,888 Sims living in our city for a while there. That was cool. One thing I can do over here is add some medium wealth parkage right next to City Hall. Something like um, a medium path park would fit in over there. Or something a little bit bigger, something more interesting, a city park. Large path park, too big. Too big. Community park, too big. What do we have? Medium path park. Yep, that'll fit in there. Maybe we can just add a little line of happy little trees. Right there, everyone loves those trees. Boy, I'll tell you what, I really love them. Mm. Things are starting to slow down here. I'm starting to get a little laggy. I'm really building a city, that means. Now, right now, I have no means of income other than taxation. I'm not. Mining, I'm not refining, I'm not importing, I'm not exporting. But if I remember correctly, we chose this region to be a trade hub. Isn't that right, Kate Rosten? Kate Rosten. Bob Rosten is the place, Kate Littleton. We wanted this to be a trade hub. Maybe that's why I left all of this stuff open over here. So let's go ahead and zone a little bit more residential. And I have a feeling that we're going to have to build a shipping port over here. A cargo shipping port, maybe. What are we going to trade in, though? Well, one thing we can do, of course, is recycle alloy and aluminum, excuse me, alloy and plastic and start turning that into processors. And Kate, I feel like we were thinking about doing um, an academy here, right? Are we thinking about an academy for the city? Let's focus on trade for now. One thing I learned hard way during my research offline, I mean, offline with you, online with me, was that you do not want to separate your trade. Let's go ahead and complete this road. This feels inelegant to me. You don't want to separate your trade ports from your entry way too far. And you also want to make sure that you have public transportation in your city. Because if you don't, you're going to get stuck. You're going to get a traffic, what they call a traffic jam. Everything's coming along very nicely here in Bob Ralston. We have a pretty stable city. Let's speed it up a little bit. Let these new buildings build in and take a little look. Oh, excuse me, Dr. Beatnik says classrooms are full. Let's go ahead and add some more classrooms. I hope that solves the problem. 
We also had a problem over here at the high school, I believe. Yes, we need more classes in the high school as well. We don't need a gym right now. We can put a class level right on top. It's not been a literal decade since you played SimCity. Omega and the Academy were introduced as part of the Cities of Tomorrow package for SimCity 2013, at least after 2013. So decade, unless they were part of an earlier, earlier version that I don't know about. Let's make sure all of our Sims have access to these schools by drawing, adding bus, school bus stops. Right? Get all these little roads green. guys are all green. These are not... Yeah, looks good. We want a stadium. Let's go down the line. All of our cities are now, excuse me, all of our buildings are improving, are building up. They're not all done yet. Let's take a look. Let's go on in. Take a look. Should we start? Can we hear the sounds of the city today, or do I have that turned off? Take a little walk. Walk through town. What's going on over here? Oop. Caesar Matthews is feeling sick and going home. density. Okay, we'll deal with you later. Coming up on the half an hour, there's that little park. Remember that little park we were talking about? We built these parks. We built this city on parks and zones. This is that excitatorium. And you can see that it's the Excitatorium modernizes the city and the trailers have, the trailer homes in this area have now become these interesting little bug homes. It's going there pretty well. And they're all scattering about. Here's where you can see the difference, right? Here's a starter home, old school. Here's a bug home. I like a tiny home. I wouldn't mind living in one of those. on out. Ooh, take the big picture. Yeah. It's a big picture. See how we're doing in our city. There are zones. No one's yelling at us. Probably could add a little bit of power, right? Water, we've got plenty. We have a city hall upgrade and a mayor's mansion available. We'll get back to that. Collection is fine. Zero fires. Two deaths. Zero crimes. Lots of students. No mass transit. We need that taken care of as soon as possible. And I spent a lot of money on parks. I hope it pays off for old Hodge. And we're not going to do any... We're not going to do any uh, disasters right now. Chat's getting feisty, apparently. Look at this. Dan Burgess is schooling us all on Bob Ross. Stole everything from William Alexander. Yeah. Alexander had an Emmy-winning painting show on PBS, which was called The Magic of Oil Painting. Bob Ross turned it into the joy of painting. He stabbed his mentor in the back and cried, Stop with Bob Ross. Dan Burgess says, Stop with Bob Ross. Okay. I don't want to get into a feud about it. 
This is the joy of zoning, not feud time. That's a different one. Garbage dump is closed, needs power. Uh-oh. Power shortage. Remember how I said we're going to have to... First of all, I think we're going to need to buy some power. If we're not already buying power. We should be buying power from... There we go. See, that yellow line means the power is coming in from Max Fund Drive, Sylvania. Good. Pat Oswald has a bit on William Alexander. I, mean, I missed that one. I'll have to listen. And, you know, we're not going to get any power from this solar array right now. We can definitely add add a, a grid, which we should do. Tighten it up. Boom. It's going to be great. It's going to be so great. Let's go to our power and you can see the power flowing on the power map. Power is coming back on over here. Pardon me while I touch my face. Now we're making a healthy, a healthy 4,000, almost 5,000 simoleons an hour just in tax revenue alone. So it's time to start thinking about our city specialization, which we, I guess we agreed was going to be trade. So this region over here is going to be our trade region. We have nothing to export at the moment. If I remember correctly, we have zero natural resources, zero coal, correct? zero ore, zero oil. So we have nothing to export but our imagination. So what we want to focus on today in this last half hour of the joy of zoning is to get the money together for one of these here recycling centers. Educated Sims will want to recycle. Used alloy, metal, and plastic can be collected and brought here to be used or sold in the global market. And now there's some discussion in the chat. I need some farmland. Agriculture will build up my industrial. Shelley, there's no farmland in SimCity 2013. Zero. Can you imagine? That was for my AS market. What will be in the main export? Well, I've had the most luck with my beloved processors. And I think that because what you do, excuse me, the real city is interfering from here. There's a fire in my city. My main export will not be judgment, no. I'm going to collect alloy and plastic from the recycling uh, plant and go ahead and turn that and sell those, build up a build up a, a backlog of simoleons and then start turning those into processors. Maybe one casino would raise money faster. Mm -hmm. Kate, what's the one to two ratio you're talking about here? The best exports are TVs and computers. Yeah, we're going to make this an electronics place. That's true. Kate Littleton, SimCity guru, wants to add casinos to our little town. What do you think about that? I don't know. I don't know about that, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to add a community college. I'm going to 
at a community college on the beach. Can I do that? I want to add a community college on the beach, near the beach. Let me add my ferry terminal first. College will modernize a lot of this industry. Yeah, I want to put it on the beach. That's what I feel like. Oh, not enough simoleons, right? Oops. Yeah, it looks straight. Go ahead and add um, train station. How do you like the music? Should I change it? Okay, let me see what I'm doing here. And I'm just going to add a little street here. This car is elegant, it's not straight. You know what I mean? It's not straight. very elegant to me. And now, let's see. We're, oh, I've got that upgrade. City Hall upgrade. I'll save that for the end. That'll be fun for the end. But I might just plop that mayor's house, you know, because that mayor's house will upgrade a lot of these buildings and the denser they are and the more educated they are, the more likely they are going to be to recycle and we really need them, we need them to recycle. We're waiting for people to come in on the ferry. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little mayor's house. Where's the mayor's house? This whole area wants to kind of get bigger, right? Bigger news. 
put him right by the beach over here. I want to save that shoreline though. Plop him, plop the mayor's house right in here. In the midst of this high wealth area. see how happy they are. That'll help us get some more high wealth kids in. And let's see about adding a little something next to the mayor's house just to make it even ritzier. There we go. You didn't see. Let's take a look at our mayor's house. Oh look, everyone's upgrading now. Mayor's house with a little fountain plaza next door. Hey, I didn't plop that. Oh, I didn't have enough simoleons for that um, community college. Right. Well, maybe I do now. Beachside Community College, a great place to go to community college. Industry loves that. You can see, everyone's getting happy. Let's go ahead and make sure that we have enough school bus stops. We're going to right down there. Right? bit happier. Approval rating 75%. A gentle person's C. People are coming in to go to school here. You can see the traffic is starting to mount. Let's get rid of that right away. We need We need a um, transportation hub. We need municipal buses. Slow it down a little bit. See what our options are. Don't have quite enough for a bus terminal or for a double-decker bus terminal, but that's not going to help us. Pardon me, a little ASMR break there. I may have to borrow some money. Of course, I could go over to our old, dear old Max Fund Drive, Sylvania, and just get a gift of money. Yeah, alarms, blares, robbery is underway. Hey, I'm zoning out over here. That's why... I That's why I delegate that to the police. Bacon factory now hiring. Okay. Elzafod added the giant gnome statue to the latest city. What what version are you playing, Elzafod? I don't know that one. I've never seen the giant gnome statue. Maybe we just need to take out a loan. We'll accept that bond. And I'll accept that bond. Still have quite a bit of money coming in, so eh, that's all I need right now. Except bond C2. There we go. Kate Littleton says click attractions under culture. Show me where it says a oh there's a giant gnome. <laughs> oh, 
I had no idea. I had no idea. Um. Attractions. What happened to it? Giant gnome. Sure. Put it right here the entrance to our city, shall we? Yeah, welcome. Hmm, he's kind of facing the wrong way. How much was he? I don't like that. Go away. Do it again. Sorry, it was just inelegant. He wasn't welcoming anybody. There we go. He's saying hi and bye to the people as they come in. What's this? Larry the Large Llama? No. Oh, and Maxis Man. We haven't put him on a mission for a while. Oh, the gnome is moving around now? Wow. No, thank you. I won't only put Dolly the Dinosaur in oil extraction cities. Let's get Max's man out on a mission. I keep forgetting about him. 100, let's just keep, keep it going, Max's man. Now, let's put in some municipal buses so people can come and see this gnome. Buses, buses, everywhere buses. That seems like basically the perfect spot. about these municipal buses. You're out of your... Let's add a couple of garages. Ooh, I'm almost out of simoleons. Did I take all of my bonds? I did. What did I do? Spend it on this municipal bus terminal and this gnome? bus stop here that we don't need. Goodbye. Just 200 simoleons wasted, I suppose. Seraph Build says, I tried to think of something from my childhood, something that could never, ever destroy us. Bum, 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 bum. Screenshot right there. Everybody grab your screenshots. Hey, there we go. Screenshots 
screenshot of the day. What? They're upset because there are a lot of people on the train. Guess what I'm going to do? Guess what I'm going to do, Kate? Because I want money. I want those simoleons. I'm going to add a gambling house right here next to the train station. Why not? something for people to get excited about here, you know what I mean? Cheap, put some cheap rooms on there. Something for the wait a minute. Comedy club, right? We need a comedy club. Wealth tourists. And blackjack tables for the medium wealth tourists. Oh, I wish I could fit that in. All right, there you go. I'm going to save that for my trade trade area. I can tell you right now that this road is not going to work here. Everything's going along really well here. We're coming up on coming up on Brian Lehrer time in about six minutes. Brian Lehrer, of course, starts at 10 a.m. Our little city of Bob Roston is getting a little naggy. Excuse me, naggy. No one's being naggy. But the game is getting laggy. And given the fact that Bob Rostin turns out is history's greatest monster, we'll rename this Gnome Town. Gnome. Gnome. Nomenclature. Before we split, so I guess we're going to pl plop down that plop down that um, recycling center next time. Let's take a look at where it'll go. Just think about it. It's over here. I know, but or I can take out that road, which probably is wise. I don't need this road here. But we'll see. 
Who knows? Maybe I'll make another little attraction here. The giant garden gnome is closed for the day. So let's say goodbye to Gnomeberg. We'll be back again next Monday at 9 a.m. for the joy of zoning every Monday in May. We'll continue to build this city. We'll zone out a little bit as we get our week started. And um, slowly but surely, Gnomeberg will build, grow into a fantastic trading hub. But before we go, let's send Maxis Man out on a mission. Gotta build up those renown points. And let's go ahead and upgrade our city hall. Happy Joy of Zoning, everybody. I'll see you in a week's time for the Joy of Zoning with me, John Hodgman. Take care. Bye. I'll give you two more minutes. I don't want to cut it out early. They were angry they weren't getting freight. The other thing about Sims is they hold a grudge. What's this? What's this little car? Who are you? Who are you? The mayor's car? Whoa, come back. I've never seen the mayor's car before. There it is. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that dumb car. Look at that dumb car I drive. The mayor's car. That's brand new. That's a screen worth a screenshot. This game is full of silly surprises. I wonder if everyone's ever arrived here at this ferry terminal. Zero a day. Turn it off. We'll get back to you, Ferry Terminal, trust me. Coming up on 10 a.m. sharp now. Almost have enough for that. Everyone's happy in number? Mm. All but 12, all but 22%. 22% are not happy. At least we got to see the mayor's car. All right, this is it for real. See you everybody next Monday. So add <laughs> 7 to 16. 20, no. It's Monday. It's the 23rd. Can't do math anymore. Add 7 to 16, you get 23, right? 9 a.m. Eastern Time here on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, wherever you watch your streams. Thanks very much, everyone. See you next time for the Joy of Zoning. Bye.